Alright, I'm Coach Anderson, uh, the baseball skill development coach uh, here at Belmont Heights Little League. Uh, we're out here having a coaches clinic uh, for our community so that the kids can get better. Uh, it's all about the fundamentals of baseball and it's about having fun. Uh, once again, the Tampa Terminators is an acronym. Uh, we're terminating uh, ignorance, illiteracy, and uh, incarceration amongst our inner city youth. So get your kids signed up for baseball. We have, we have a lot of talent out here. We have good coaches. Come out and play ball. Peace out. I'm Marvin Lancaster. I came out here to get Coach James a little of my experience from what I came through playing out in the Little League. Uh, I, I played at Hillsborough High School. Uh, I ended up playing at Florida a &M University. So just want to let kids know baseball ain't all about going to the pros. You can also get it to get the education. And I just want to come out and give back to the kids. Carl Everett, 90 graduate from Hillsborough High School. Drafting 10th, 10th overall, first round with the Yankees. Played with multiple teams, eight to be exact, from the Mets to Seattle. Won a world championship with the White Sox. Made two All-Star games, 19, no, no, 2000 and 2003. I'm out here to give back as usual, 27 years of volunteering with young kids. You know, inner city children, I was one of them. And it's always nice to give back. Someone gave me, so I'm giving back. Uh, Chris Wilson uh, started my career out here at Belmont Heights, probably about 77. Golden Hawk, Kappa, Charmettes, Friendly 15. Played at King for three years, then I uh, went out to JUCO. Uh, Fulton State Community College for two years, and went to Tennessee State and on to Oklahoma City. And was able to play with, uh, signed with the Milwaukee Brewers back in 92, 93. Played there for a couple years. Uh, so that's my baseball career. Um, you know, I love the game. It's good to be back here at Belmont Heights to kind of give back uh, to the kids. So that's Chris Wilson. Uh, my name is Nevin Griffith. I graduated from Middleton High School in 2007 and was drafted by the Chicago White Sox in the second round. Uh, coach just wanted me to come out and just help out, you know, talk to the kids, let them know what it takes to get to the next level, just little little things that they're going to be looking for in high school or college or whatever. I'm just, just anything that I could just, little nuggets that I could give them, that's why. When you're playing second base and you come in here for that double play, you have to stutter step before you get to the bag. Don't come at the bag hard like this. Get your, get your momentum, stutter step, and then get them. You get what I'm saying? But you don't want to come straight because your momentum gonna have you coming like this and the ball gonna come like this and you're gonna keep dropping the ball. So kind of time and then stutter step. You know what I mean? Relax, all right? So now, when you know where the ball at, you gotta put either this foot or this foot on your bag and then you gotta come out. So either this foot or that foot. Ball over here, put that on the bag, put that one on the bag, put that on the bag, uh -uh. put it on the paper. And now come out, now reach out. Boom, all right? Ball over here, put that one on the base. Boom, come on now, work, come on work. Here we go. Get back in the middle of that base. Get back in the middle, get in the middle. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Now you should be able to feel that ball and get it. So you got to, you got to come here, baby. All right? See how straight that is? Work on that, team. Feel your ball. There you go. There you go. Go to Chico. Throw something that looks like this, but Sebastian, actually moving like this. Sebastian, that's, that's that's where you trick them. They're looking. They look at fastball. Oh, the bottom fell out of it. Right. Same thing with the changeup. I throw my changeup four seams. Boom. So it's spinning like this, but it doesn't have the force behind it. Right. So it's gonna drop off. So those. That's what he means when I say grip a four seam. So now I'm gonna give the ball to you, see how long it takes you to get a four seam. Go. Okay, two seconds. Not 
bad. Ready? You know what a four seam is now? All right, ready? Okay. Took you a while, but not bad. Ready? Okay, that was good. So look, that's what you guys got to work on, right? Just getting the ball, getting four seams. That's easy something, that's easy practice you can do. Catch the ball, get four seams. That's, not, that's the kind of things you should be working on when you're playing catch, right? Actually, I'm not gonna give, give you a ball. Go through your motion. <coughs> okay. So, first thing I see. Okay. First thing I see is your direction's off. Your front foot, your back foot's right here. If I draw a straight line to the plate, you should land on this line, but your foot landed right here, right? So that means you're gonna have the tendency to throw that ball that way. Not even reach further, just stay on line. So you wanna just stay on that line. See how you still, it was better, right? But you still are over here. I call that opening up. So if I get here and I open up, I just lost a lot of power, right? Stay closed, meaning keep your back pocket to the to the plate as long as possible. Okay? Boom, boom. Everything else is good. You want to step with your toe facing where you're throwing the ball. And you're gonna release right over the top. Okay? So that's what that's what I saw from your first two. Okay, that was a lot better. That was a lot better. <laughs> Good arm speed. Um, what I would say in the beginning is you're too closed. So like when you when y'all are in the stretch, when you're in the stretch and you're this close, it's hard for you to do anything, right? When you get to the next level, people are gonna start running, people are gonna start doing stuff. And if you're this close, you're not in an athletic position, right? So let's go ahead and just get in an athletic stance to where like widen yourself. Like an athletic stance is shoulder width apart, right? So open your feet just a little bit. Now that's a little bit more athletic. Now you can make a move, right? When you're like this, it's harder to make a move. Okay? So go ahead. Nice. Okay, once again, this is Coach Anderson, your baseball skill development coach. If you desire for your child to get the fundamentals of baseball, please contact me uh, at 813-770-9610 or contact us at BJ Overflow, Tampa Terminators, where terminating illiteracy, ignorance, and incarceration. Subscribe to our channel and you have a blessed day. Let's play ball.